The circulatory system is composed of our heart and the major blood vessels that run through our body. It's also referred to as the cardiovascular system. Now it's important to know as you learn organ systems what their major functions are. So the major functions of the circulatory system can be broken into four major groups. And those are the transport and exchange of materials with cells, arguably one of the most important functions of the circulatory system and one that we'll spend a lot of time talking about. Um, this is where cells are able to pick up gases, nutrients, and dump off certain wastes into the bloodstream. There's also the part of the immune response responsible by uh, white blood cells as part of the circulatory system, so they help fight infection as well. Certain blood vessels can constrict or open wide in order to conserve or dump heat close to the skin, so it also has the effect of regulating our body temperature. And finally, the circulatory system can form very helpful clots should we be injured at some site in order to prevent the loss of blood. Now not all animals need a circulatory system. For instance, very small organisms like nematodes uh, that can be found everywhere in the world, mostly aquatic and soil habitats, or very thin organisms like jellyfish, like you see in the video here, that are only a couple of cell layers thick. They can uh, acquire all the nutrients and gases they need just fine by simple diffusion from the environment, simply because they're so thin, and thus they don't need a complex circulatory system. For animals that do have circulatory systems, we need to distinguish between open and closed circulatory systems. Uh, animals like this insect here and this crustacean down here have open circulatory systems. And this is where the fluid that circulates around the body, the hemolymph, which is pumped by the heart, actually leaves those vessels at some point to mix with the fluid surrounding cells of all the tissues. Now those cells then are bathed in the hemolymph and that hemolymph gets sucked back up into the heart through these little holes right here which are called ostia. So the heart actually has some openings in it that suck that fluid back in and allow that hemolymph to be redistributed through the body. Now animals that have closed circulatory systems like humans and mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians uh, have their blood contained entirely within vessels. So here as the heart pumps, blood will circulate in a certain direction, at some point crossing what are called capillaries, a fine bed of capillaries. And it's at that point where the blood crosses these fine beds of capillaries that the helpful gases and nutrients can diffuse out of the blood and interact with the cells at that point without the blood ever having to actually leave the cardiovascular system. Now as we continue to talk about blood and how it travels through our circulatory system, we should know a little bit about the composition of blood. So consider this blood vessel here. About half of what is running through that blood vessel is plasma, 55% of our total blood volume. And plasma is that liquid portion of our blood in which all the substances that are needed are carried throughout. So plasma itself is mostly water, as is any biological fluid, 92% water. About 7% of these plasma proteins, very helpful proteins uh, that are carried throughout the circulatory system. And a remaining 1% of ions and the waste products of cellular respiration, for instance, as well as hormonal signals needed around the body. Now, the remaining half of that blood volume, left over 45%, is composed of what we call formed elements. These are the suspended cells and fragments of cells within the plasma. Now the first of these uh, formed elements is the erythrocyte, which are red blood cells. They are carrying hemoglobin, that very helpful protein pigment that carries oxygen on it. Leukocytes are white blood cells. They are the second kind of formed element. 
These are involved in fighting off any kind of an infection as part of our immune response, and there are a number of different kinds of leukocytes that each have specialized functions. Finally, thrombocytes are our platelets, and this third kind of formed element circulates through the cardiovascular system, uh, accumulating at any injured places in the formation of a clot.